finally finished. Only took us, Dylan, how long did it take us? A long time. <laughs> took us like a month to finish these bad boys. But basically, it's pretty simple. How long, how was, long? How long was the engineering process? Like, I feel like it was you and me, and we did it in like an hour, right? The basic, and then I mean the basic over idea, and then over time we it got developed. Yeah, I mean first we were all just talking about stuff, and then we just brilliantly it came to us. Yeah, <laughs> but so pretty much what the idea was that we can have these ones on the bottom with space underneath to be able to work on. Them. Here, so I'll be like that. Our lovely so model leave. assistant <laughs> will lift them up. Obviously, in the future, we'll have like, you can see. Issues. Yeah, it'll get cleaned up, but we have the wheel well wells that are insulated right now, and then we're just keeping some blankets under there and shoes. Um, but so that'll get cleaned up to be a little more compartmentalized, I think, and then we'll cover them with facing. And then the bottom bunk will go right here, and then the top bunk will be connected onto this one. And pretty much we have um, on these attached to these so we can adjust the height if it stretches out or if it just seems like we need to lift one side up or lift both sides up to make them make it level. Um, so that's that. And then we have these attached to these to the steel beams that go all the way across the bus. Um, so they're into these. And then they're attached by hinges, which, if Kevin don't get off, I will show. So this was Kevin's idea. Um, patent pending. Patent pending. Uh, so we had to drill into the steel um, ribbing and then just screw these in. So we attached it with hinges to the wall so that we can, once a, bed's, a bed is attached to here and a bed is down on the bottom bunk, we can have it so that this goes down, this won't be attached, these will stay up here. And then this can be for like when people are coming in or just whenever, we can put it down and then it'll be like a couch. Bed in a bed. Bed in a bed. It'll be a couch. So we have that on either side, especially while someone's driving. Um, it'll give space for people to be able to sit up here with them. This is perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just imagine, like, driving. I feel like a question we get a lot is, why did you put the beds in the front? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, and we started out having them in the very back. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But then the idea was, there was a couple things going into it. One, knowing that we were going to do this, being um, right up to near the driver. So we wanted to make an effort um, to create a space that kind of makes you almost forget that you're in a bus and that you're more in a home. Even though, obviously, we still want to maintain like the sense that we're in a traveling house. But one of our thoughts to be able to do that was eventually make it where the front do this the bus front door would be less of the front door so that when you actually came in, God. we build a kind of collapsible porch so that um, eventually we can have this door be the front door and we'll have a collapsible porch that'll unfold um, in front of there. So that when you come in, you come into the middle of the bus and it more feels like, I don't know, kind of disorients it from being... You just got on the bus. You're getting on a school bus. In third bus. grade. Yeah. Um, so that was, I think, one of our main ideas behind it. Also, another main reason was because of the bathrooms. And then yeah. we wanted to, because the bathrooms are full stalls all the way up to the ceiling and really block it off and close off the whole floor plan. So if we have um, anywhere in the middle, it totally blocks it out. And then if you have it all the way up at the front, 
on either side. So our choices were to either put it all the way up at the front and it blocks the driver in completely with two huge boxes, or we put it where we thought the beds were gonna go up first, back here on either side. And then it just blocks out this part of the bus, but so that be up to here, then it's open all the way throughout the rest of the bus. Rad. Right.